Greetings, children, and welcome to this homily series for Our Holy Faith, Book Two, The Lamb of God. I'm Father Kirby, and I get to walk with you through this course. I want to dive in today, first of all, by introducing this little friend of mine here. Look at this little panda. Isn't he cute? In fact, he's so cute, we should give him a name. How about we call him Perry, right? He even kind of dresses like me. And of course, if you ever saw a panda in real life, we see pandas, they're playful, they joke around and so on. It's so beautiful to see the pandas and all the creatures, animals and birds and fish and all these things we see in creation. We can wonder, where does all that stuff come from? Where do all these creatures come from? And of course, as you've been studying, all these beautiful, wonderful creatures, they come from God. We know that God is a marvelous creator. God, in his innermost essence, who he really is, God is a divine family, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And at the very beginning of time, God wanted to share that love that he has. And so he created all things. And of course, we know that he created things in a certain level of importance, right? So he created the fish, and he created the animals, and of course, he crowned his creation with us, the human person. I think every time that we look at an animal, or we see something amazing in creation, in our own heart we can say, wow, look at how amazing God is. And of course we know not only did God create all the animals and the birds and the fish, God even created the angels. That means in addition to all the things we can see, there are also things that God created that we cannot see. And of course the holy angels. And do you remember, dear children, that you have a guardian angel. That's an angel that God specifically created in order to guide you, to help you, to help each of us get into heaven. And these angels, they light, they guard, they protect. Their task is to guide us on the ways of God. And so we can look at all the animals, all the fish, all the birds, and we can know by faith the presence of the angels. And all that we see that God is this marvelous creator. So God, that divine family, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, he created all these things in order to show his love, and then he created us. And that's so important for us, children, that we understand that God is our creator. So oftentimes people will try to say, well, we just appeared, or we kind of just evolved into something. And while there are parts of that that you'll study later in your studies and as a high school student and so on, the most important thing right now that we all need to know, the start, is that God is a wonderful creator and that he created us in love. We were made by God and for God. And all the things of creation were made in order for God to show his love and how wonderful it is and diverse it is. And again, we have been given all the creatures, all the fish, all the birds, and the angels in order to help us to live as his children, to know how much we are loved. And that's so important. Now we know that God, of course, is a creator, but we also know that God is our savior because we know as wonderful and beautiful as creation is, we know that creation has fallen. Our first parents, they listened to the devil, they believed lies, and they accepted something else other than God. And all creation fell. We fell from God's grace. And that means that as wonderful and beautiful as all the things are that we see, we know that they're fallen. That means we're fallen. I mean, sometimes we want to do things we know are wrong, or we know that there are good things that we're supposed to be doing, but we don't want to do them, even though we know they're right, and that's because we're fallen. Because we're fallen and because all creation has fallen, it means we need a savior. Someone has to come and help us, and the only one who can do that is God. The God who created us is the God who saves us. So children, I want you to realize that when we see these pandas and they're playful and they're joking around and we see all these wonderful animals and we see the birds and the fish go to an aquarium like, that's an amazing fish. I've never seen anything like that. That all these things that are fearfully and wonderfully made, all of them are simply a reflection of how much God loves us. And he crowns that work by our creation. And then he comes and he shows us even more how much he loves us not simply with pandas and fish and birds, but as our Savior. That He comes and He saves us from that fallenness. That means He gives us His grace. Now that's exciting because grace, that's God's life and His power inside our soul. 
It gives us the strength that we don't have by ourselves in order to cooperate with good things. I'm going to do that good thing because I know it's good. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. God's grace comes in me. I'm going to do this good thing. Or I know that something is bad or wicked. And I was like, oh, but it's really cool. Maybe kind of. No. Grace comes in. I'm like, I'm not going to do that because that's wrong. And grace gives us that strength in order that we can be and fulfill our vocation, our call as the children of God. So dear children, I hope that as you look at creation, you see all the wonderful things, the frogs outside, or you can hear the crickets, or all the wonderful things of creation, realize that God made this diverse, wonderful creation in order to manifest his love. And I hope that as you see all these things, you know in your heart how much God loves you. And he loves you so much, not simply to create you, not simply to give us this beautiful creation, but also to come to us and to save us, to give us the power of his grace that we can say yes to the good things, the beautiful things, the true things, the holy things. So dear friends, dear children, remember, God is our creator. He is our savior. Hold those in your hearts. Tell all your friends about this wonderful creator and this loving savior. God bless you.